beautiful morning out here. Just put in on Ullaware Bay. And now I'm just uh, gonna paddle around to old Captain Cook Bridge. It's uh, just, um, just I think past the full high tide, so it's gonna be turning and starting to head out. I haven't fished down here for a little while, so I thought I'd give the pylons a crack this morning and see whether there's any brim around. And possibly, even if there's a few jewies. So I'll try a few different styles. I'm gonna put the cranker crab back on this morning. So stay tuned, I'll be there shortly. With the cranker crab, I'm in about five metres of water here. Just got to let it drift down. And so I just keep a little bit of an eye on the line as, as the lure is dropping. Um, you don't want to have too much of a loose loop in the line. So that if uh, a brim strikes that you actually can feel the strike and then also strike. <laughs> it does take a little bit of time to let this lure sink all the way down. So I'm using the 9.5 gram cranker there. It's always a bit risky fishing the pylons. As yeah, you know, there is it is pretty snaggy country. So you've got to be prepared to possibly lose in one of these prized lures to a snag on the bottom, especially in the lighter line. Ooh, a little bit of a little bit of a touch. Maybe I should have fought a bit harder because he's just done me, done me and dusted me on the on the pile on there. Yeah, light leader. Oh, fish one, Mick zero. Okay, that's cranker two, and that's the uh, olive colour. I'm gonna have to be uh, a bit more on my game there. It's a bit sloppy. This time I've paddled straight out, yeah, not giving him much of a chance to. Back the drag off a little now. Feels like it's got a bit of fight, although it's in the current. Oh yeah, nice brimbos. Go and get in the net for that one. probably 27, 28. Just being caught by, oh look at that, come straight off one little, one little tiny treble. There you go. The cranker, olive, 9.5 gram cranker crab. I 
31 centimetre. So not a bad brim. And a bad brim for the first, first of the morning. Yeah, those crankers can be deadly. I'll get back in on that and cast again and see if I can uh, uh, land a couple more. Pop this guy back in. Beautiful. better that feels more like a more like a jewfish than a brim but let's have a look and see yeah it's definitely got a bit more girth on oh, it it's a nice nice big brim yeah it's a good one yeah it's a, probably the biggest one so far those hooks again. Oi, alright. Now that's a better brim. Yeah. Probably 33, 34, something like that. Maybe 32. He's just got a bit more 
girth, more weight. Yeah, I thought of you as a little school Jew. Okay. The wind's just slowly been picking up now. Which was on the forecast. It says it turned south. Okay, it's a cranker off. Yeah, he's a, he's a beast. He's definitely getting up there. And go 37. 37 centimetre. The wind's blown me a fair way off course here, so I might just give it a bit of a paddle back. There you go, you can see that wind's picked up now. It's a bit south. 37, pretty happy. A bit of a swim. I remember that the brimmer, brimmer quite old fish. So the ones this size is, you know, they're pretty, pretty old. Yeah, there you go, mate. Good job. the Hobie out now the winds come up and really change the conditions uh, two two hour little fish really good fun caught some really nice brim two big 37s so pretty happy about those and yeah I'll be back again next time so stay tuned for the next episode and thanks for all your support and following and watching my channel please subscribe if you haven't already all the best <laughs>